Photopea is a free online alternative to Photoshop. Because it's a website, it will work on any computer and even mobile devices like phones. Plus, it has many of the same features as Photoshop. We'll make a quick graphic in Photopea and slice it and save it, so you'll know how to make your own graphics there with the images you want, and you'll be able to use many of the most important tools. So first of all, Photopea lets you create a new canvas to custom dimensions, just like Photoshop, but they also have many pre-made canvases you can work with too. I'm gonna make a new graphic the size of your average wallpaper. But you can set the dimensions to fit whatever you're trying to make, like a signature or an avatar or something like that. Now, the first option for your background is you can make your background a specific color or gradient by using the color fill option or the gradient. Just click the half circle icon at the bottom of the layer window and select your colors like so. You can delete a color layer at any time or change the colors at any time as I do here. But you can also go to File and Open in Place to place a background or any image on your canvas. The image needs to be downloaded to your device first. You can resize it just like Photoshop and choose Free Transform under Edit to resize it and move the layer again at any time. I'll add another graphic on top, this time a render. That's an image with a transparent background around it. You have to look these up, just Google the character's name plus render. Now, when you're resizing graphics, you should always click down this chain icon for equal proportions. They also have a similar eraser tool to Photoshop. You can check out my 11 tips for Photoshop video linked under this video for tricks you can do with the eraser tool. Photopea also has very important blending options. You can use these to customize your layers. Here I'm going to use Color Overlay set to Blend Mode Color to change the color of the background layer. You can do this with a layer including you can do this with any layer including a pattern layer if you chose that for your background. It also has a very similar paintbrush to Photoshop. I'll use this default paintbrush to add some light effects to our character's hand. And I always put paintbrushes on a new layer. And I'll use blending options on this paintbrush layer as well with the outer glow. You definitely want to explore using the paintbrush and blending options in your graphic to add some cool effects. Photopea also allows you to install custom brushes downloaded off of DeviantArt. I'll also link you to some under the video. With these, you can make more advanced effects like sparkles, light effects, and streaks and fire, lightning, and all kinds of effects. Here I'll add some sparkles by our light orbs. When you download custom brushes off of DeviantArt, they might be in RIR format and then you might have to extract the ABR file 
which is the paintbrush file, using a specific app in your device. I can't tell you what that app is going to be for every device, but Google for an app that extracts, that extracts from RAR files for your device. Then you can go to Open in Photopea and select the ABR file to start using that brush. The Half Moon icon also has a lot of good options to explore and they're similar to Photoshop. For instance, we use the Hue Saturation option to make a coloring layer and it will up the saturation for a design. You can also use this to do monochrome designs, just lower the saturation and change the hue. And now we'll make a curves layer that lets us adjust the lighting. These are very useful for anime based designs. And at any time you can turn off a layer by clicking the eye next to it. And you can also delete them as well if you want. Remember too the topmost layer is the one that's most in front. As you can see my renders layer is above the regular background layer. And lastly, they have a really good text option here. And we'll use blending options to spice up the text a little. Now, we use a lot of tools that you'll want to use when making your own graphics, so we'll save it for now. You can save your work project by choosing the Save as PSD option, and then you can return to your PSD at any time. You can also load other people's PSDs in Photopea to make your own graphics with them, and I'll link you to some PSDs we've donated under the video. Also, to save it as an actual wallpaper, we need to go to Export As and save it as a PNG with this option. Finally, if you plan to slice your Photopea project up for something like an About Me graphic or one with links, you'll need to use the Slice tool here. It's very important to make sure your slices have complete horizontal lines going completely across, otherwise it's going to be hard to post the graphic on a lot of forums. Also, you can readjust the slices with the Slice Select tool. Now those are pretty much the basics of Photopea that gets you started on making your own graphics. Please see my other Photoshop videos linked under this video if you want more extensive help on making graphics like banners and avatars, signatures and such. Many of the techniques I go over there will work in Photopea as well. Good luck with your designs.